What's up guys, King of the North back with some more Deadly Days. Last episode, we uh, got some decent base items. One of them being point on a string, we have a much higher chance of finding vending machines now, and the cost is reduced for the items in the vending machine. We have a full list of active items, one of them being loot scan, which gives us, a ch uh, it automatically finds a rare weapon each day, but there's a small chance we could find a legendary. To start things off, we are going to be doing a burger mission here. We are officially going to make our push for the W here. We want to do that quickly before the difficulty spikes and gets too out of control here. All right, so let's pop loot scan over here. Try to come out to the street. Keep air striking this. Uh, special zombies are pretty resistant to airstrikes, so it's better to use the airstrikes to clear out the map and let your survivors work the special zombie down. I wanted to get up here and loot this unmarked building and this vending machine. This is okay early on. I'll still take it. I don't like the setting the one health here. All right, we got everybody kind of spread out, which is not great for us. And I already used the R offensive active item. Uh, we need to get people down here stat. I got him healed up. We're going to have to get on the bus. Got lighter. I think at least fire behind every time your survivors reload. I'm out here on top in front of the bus. Let's keep this area cleared out. And we'll get everybody on the bus. All right, so we got our first map piece. We looted the burger building, burger joint here. And uh, yeah, we're going to get a bonus mission here at the end. So let's see what we got. All right, so I'm not real big on any of these. The five tools might be nice. I'm going to go with the increased HP. The weapons probably wouldn't have been too bad, but I feel like I, I kind of get lousy mods on them sometime. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this 27 damage weapon and give this person a grenade launcher. They're doing 167, so a lot, a lot more damage. Is this higher level. No, it's a level 19. All right. Uh, so this is pretty decent as well. I really don't want to go in and individually delete these either. So let's just see what's on the agenda here. All right, we got a hospital. Let's do the hospital. I should have enough scrap if something pops up. I didn't want to sell weapons because there's a rocket launcher in there that I could give to another survivor. Okay, so we have apple tree here. Uh, vending machine, cars, houses, and of course, hospital. Very long map, Jesus. Okay. Both are fairly long. All right, so let's pop loot scan right here in the middle. All right, we found our hospital. That was a good guess. And we found our apple tree. Just gonna come up top real quick here, peek, see if we can find a car or that vending machine, and it is not here. We are going to come down this way. Blue rocket launcher, that's actually really nice. If we get another survivor, I will be using that.
I got some houses. Definitely want to loot these. We are getting low on time, so I do want to consider turning back around at this point. Because I don't want to get too far away. Yeah, let's let's turn around. Let's I want to make sure this person gets out all right. This person's not doing well. All right, they ran. They're good. strikes just to get some kills and then I'm going to pop the next one for heals just to make sure everybody's topped off. All right, we'll get on the bus. Let me get here. Oh yeah, Inferno. So we can probably sell off all the state normal weapons. This is blue. I am gonna sell purple. So we're up to a lot of scrap. Let's hope we find a scrap betting machine. Got another burger mission. We also have a rest let's do the burger mission. Let's, uh, fire in here. Okay, another blue rocket launcher and a purple. Just to get them started, and then I want to clear out the rest of the map, because these guys are not going to be able to fight anything while they're killing the big guys. Alright, so... We'll loot the burger joint, and we'll start moving around a little bit here. I cleared out a lot of space with the airstrikes, obviously. So, might as well try to loot what we can. House raid, what do we get? 100 houses in one- Man, I looted 100 houses in one round. I guess we've been at this for quite a bit, so that shouldn't be too much of a surprise then, I guess. I do want to consider getting back to the bus, I think. I don't want to get too far away. It's stranded. Yeah, there's a lot of zombies. Alright, let's get on the bus. So, second map piece. We're also going to get a second bonus mission here. So all the normal and this purple hammer. Let's see what we got. Lunchtime. Yeah, let's go with the food. I'd like to get one more survivor before possibly heading into our last mission here. Which I it's a little ways out, but you know, we could just get burger mission, burger mission. Uh we did have 600 scraps, so I wanted to get the mallet in here and upgrade it. So after each mission, we have a 100% chance now to increase the level of our weapon. So I pointed this out last episode, I believe. This lightning gun does more damage than this lightning gun because we found this one at a level 10 where this one's a level 4. So it's a little bit of a way to keep weapons um, being efficient, I guess, especially legendary weapons. So let's see what's on the agenda. This is, they're both dangerous, right? They're both a level three. If I do the fire department, I just have to be very careful. I feel like the fire department maps are very aggressive. 
but if we have a chance to reset the difficulty a little bit, oh wow, at least it's right next to the bus. Uh, the, the downside is it's right next to the bus, so we have a ton of zombies right in our face already. Uh, I do need to get somebody in there right now, and I don't want it to be that guy because he's got a lightning gun. So I said we got to be careful, which means we just need to make sure we're not running too far away from each other and splitting up. There is an apple tree, which is right up here. Glad that the map had one of those because I was considering the hospital for the food that it was going to give us. As you see, this, this map just feels a little, like, extra aggressive. I don't really want to clear any of these blockades out. Because it causes the, the zombies to funnel a little bit for us. We're almost done. He's almost gotten through this. I believe the three doors mean different ratings of... How much re uh, difficulty gets back, because sometimes you'll see them go in the first door or the, the third door. Alright, so we reset it by three. It's not, like out of this world amazing, but it, it'll help a little bit. Just want to airstrike these guys. Now look at all the zombies that were down here. If there's an achievement for killing X amount of zombies in a run, uh, probably going to come up on close to doing that. Look at that. What a mess, dude. What a mess. Okay, so it was at 16, which would have gone to like 20 probably, but now it's at 18. So all the normal weapons will sell this purple Uzi. And um, we'll see what's on. Actually, let's... Build a room here. Let's do this. This is our first room I think we built. The next one I would probably build the greenhouse just to stabilize some food. The research room's not bad either. It resets it. Well, it doesn't reset. It lowers difficulty by one every three days. It kind of just mitigates a little bit. And um, receive an airdrop. I haven't done this one in any of my runs. But let's see what's on the agenda. We got a burger mission. And that's what we are going to do. Have somebody loot this building. There is a vending machine here. A decent sized map. We'll pop the loot scan right here. All right, perfect. We found our... You guys just have to walk through this every time. Don't get it. I'm gonna pop the airstrikes all on this building. Found our vending machine too. All right, we're gonna have everybody run through here. Get somebody into the burger joint. I do kind of want to loot this vending machine in hopes that we get maybe a railgun. Okay, so blackboard's a really good item if you can get it early on into a run. It's kind of pointless for us at this point because survivors gain more experience per mission, but we don't have many missions left. Uh, I will buy the food package, though. And I'm, not, I'm not real big on those, so we'll, uh, we'll start heading back to the bus here. Pop the healing cooldown just to make sure these guys are going to get back safely. Okay, we get the bus started. Okay, like I said, I, I would like to get one more survivor before this ramps up. So 
So hopefully our bonus objectives has somebody gives us the option to have somebody join us. Hey, so what did I get? Oh, when you kill a zombie. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, you can actually get a bunch of rats on your side to help you out. So let's see what our bonus is. Rare weapon. Currently equipped weapons by one mod. Uh, let's go with the mod here. Because we're probably going to have the weapons we have right now going into the last mission. So if we can just upgrade them. And they, they have the, we have the mallet, so it's not like they'll become outdated too quickly. Yikes. Okay, so let's get this slot because we do have 602 scrap. Get the rat trap and upgrade it. So every zombie we kill, we'll get two rats. The rats will act similar to the rats we've been fighting, but they'll fight for us. Uh, let's go with the warehouse. It's a little bit less dangerous, but it also has a chance of giving us a decent base item. And it's a clear view. So, uh, important to note, apple trees that spawn on maps that have this little hayfield, if you ever see this little hayfield, will always be an apple tree on opposite corners of each other. Uh, I see the vending machine is down here. It's also a food vending machine, so I probably want to steer clear of that. This is very far away. It's probably not actually worth getting. I'm going to pop loot scan here. Okay, we'll come down here for the apples. Trees. I'll take a peek at the food vending machine just because we, we are going to get six food from this map. The two apple trees. Damn it. These are all great items, including that railgun. I'm going to take the railgun. Uh, it's very risky to do that because we're now down to 20 food. But the railgun is such a good weapon. Let's airstrike all this just to get some extra zombie kills. And it'll give us a bunch of rats, right? Rat pack. Loot these and then I'll, oh my God, I'll probably get on the bus at this point. I really don't want to risk anything. For another 20 food with five survivors, that's four days worth of food. So hopefully we find our burger mission sooner rather than later. So all the standard weapons, and I'm going to give this guy the railgun just because he's already got a slow shooting weapon. The railgun is very slow, but look at that damage. Uh, let's see what's on the agenda. We got a supermarket, which we need to do. And I'm gonna hold on to the scrap for now. 345 could find a vending. Well, there's a very good chance we'll find a vending machine here, right? Because of the coin on a string. I'm just kind of hoping that we find the supermarket quick enough. And we are, because it's right here above us. Railgun doing a ton, a ton of damage. And I don't want you going in there because you have the railgun. This guy's got the lightning gun, but um, somebody's got to go in there, right? Railgun is actually excellent, excellent for leveling up survivors as well. Just because it's, it's basically an instant kill for whatever zombie it hits, but it also goes through zombies. So there's a good chance you'll be hitting multiple zombies at a time.
that's a blue pistol. It would be... Oh, wow. Everybody is really banged up right now. Um, why? Okay, we need to... These guys topped off here. And I probably should just bring these guys back to bus. My assumption is it's the lightning gun or the lightning enemies that are causing problems. Yeah, it's basically the end of the day anyway. a crowded base right there. All right. So all normal weapons. See what is on the agenda, I guess. We have a warehouse. Apologize for the dogs in the background. Let's upgrade these. All the ones below us are upgraded as well. So let's, let's knock out this warehouse mission. It's less risky. And base items are cool. You can always get more base items that'll help us for the last mission. As you see, some of the web, some of the base items that we have right now, I'll be swapping out before the last mission, because they're not really going to be of any value to us, like coin on a string at that point. All right, we found the warehouse. Look at the damage from that railgun, man. Look at the rats now jumping in because of that railgun <laughs> and every other weapon too, but. Rats versus rats. We're going to get a scrap vending machine here. And we got a base item out of that car, which is pretty impressive as well. All right, we'll take the chance to negate damage. That's could help us for the last mission. I got a key from something else. Was it up here? Did he finish? No. So we got a key. The key allows you to loot buildings faster, which is also a very great item, base item, early on. But at this point, I'm, I'm not going to try to squeeze it in. I came out of a special zombie. Rats are eating zombies. I'm grateful they're not going to turn into zombie rats doing that. Um, airstrikes, I'll call down here. Just get some of the extra kills for XP. Got a healing drone. Bomb these rats. Alright, and then we'll get on the bus here in a second. Yeah, let's get on the bus. A lot of scrap, a lot of scrap. So we did pick up quite a bit of things. Explosive. Let me explode and killed. Seems kind of dangerous. So yeah, the key searches houses faster, uh, faster and then there's a 25% chance to instantly loot. Normal houses when it's upgraded. This will probably end up equipping for the final mission. There's a chance to negate some damage. This is another healing drone. Oh, this one, no, sorry. This one fights for you. There's like two fighting ones and two healing ones. So not too shabby. Sell all the normal weapons. I'm going to sell the purple shotgun as well. See what's on the agenda. We got a rescue mission, finally. Which should work out in our favor. If uh, we can find the person. This is a very strange map. Okay, and we got the pumpkin head guy. Wait, where is everybody? Oh, they're all right here. Okay, 
So let's pop the airstrike here and just try to clear this out as much as possible and then come up here and airstrike all this. Clear that out as well. All right, we'll send this group down here. These buildings got a lot of rats. I'm hoping they can kind of get ahead of us here and start doing work on some of these zombies, but doesn't seem to be the case. A little unfortunate, I guess. This is a very weird map uh, in this narrow. Um, it's kind of dangerous, too, because of the fact that zombies can come from either side. We actually took care of most of the objectives here, so let's get the bus started. I missed one little car. That's fine. Get on the bus. Awesome, so we got another survivor. Very happy about that. Hopefully we don't starve to death. Wow, 28, huh? Pretty dangerous. Blue pistol. I'm glad I held on to some weapons here. This is a 23. Let's give you this. Although because we have a railgun, I might be better off giving you a faster weapon. Sell the purples. A lot of scrap. A lot of scrap. All right, let's see what's on the agenda here. Yikes. I was really kind of hoping for... Burger mission, because we're getting low on food. Let's grab that. All right. So pretty hefty size map here. Let's pop the loot scan right here. I might not even make it to the hospital. There's an apple tree on this map. Let's not blow ourselves up, please. Thank you. There's a vending machine right here. Hopefully we can find some food out of that. Okay, so no food in here. I'll buy the tools just because we have them. And I'm gonna buy the rocket launcher as well. It's purple, it's better than the blue one that the one guy has right now. Wait for the railgun to shoot, but the railgun might actually be in one of the buildings right now. Somebody liked my achievement. Thank you very much. Shoutouts to them. I'm assuming that's a viewer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who'd be liking achievements. Actually, you know what? This is too risky right now. Uh, let's get back to the bus. Yeah, we're going to be overwhelmed quickly here if we're not careful. All right, so we'll come back down the street. Get all our heels off. Someone can loot this building, I guess. Get everybody on the bus. All right. All right, so. Down to 17 food. I'm gonna give this guy does less damage. The reload speed's a lot better, but it's still slow. Wow, that's incredible. All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so... Okay, so I'm going to save this for the next episode. Uh, to, 
we could go rescue, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to go with the rescue mission next, I think. But I'm going to save that for next episode, guys. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully we get some food or a burger mission soon. Catch you all on the next adventure. Peace.